Okay. Right, we got a funny one. This will be a real laugh, what this one is. Anyway, we're going to just quickly get our machine set up. We're going to do something kind of, well, I thought I think it's personally amusing. I don't know if anyone else shares my point of view, but I think it's a cack. It's a total laugh. It's a bit of a play on word joke, a bit of a pun. Well, it's not quite a pun, but it is in some ways. In some ways, I think pun may not be the right description for this joke. We're just going to make this one. Listen to that. Oh. You hear the squeaks. Anyway, that's enough of that. Enough of that stupidity. We all know Quantic and Minolta are a bunch of shit stirrers. Anyway, so let's see how we go. Wait, <sighs> Quantic and Minolta. Quantic and Minolta. Fuck off, Konica Minolta. We're just going to add a little bit of black to this funny demo. Well, I think it's fucking funny. I wonder what colours we're going to give it to make it even more interesting. So we're going to go. We're going to switch it on. I'm wondering. I don't think red is the right colour. There's a lot of red. There's a lot of blue. I'm thinking either yellow or we might be going green. I don't know if this is going to work on this original. Let's see how it goes. So let's see how this original... I'm wondering if we might take out the background colour or we're going to leave it. We're going to make it really special. But anyway, here we go. Aussie kids. Ah, uh, Wheatbix kids. Well, yeah. I used to hate Wheatbix, strangely enough. And I used to have this saying, because back in the... Back in the 90s or the 80s, there was a brand of photocopier called Ubix, U-B-I-X. And I see the word Bix in Wheat Bix, and I think Ubix. Well, I had this old saying when I hated Wheat Bix. I used to say I'd rather eat a Ubix than a Wheat Bix. In other words, I'd rather eat a, <laughs> a photocopier than a, a Wheat Bix. Of course, not literally. I didn't actually... I didn't actually mean it, but it's just a phrase to say I hated Wheat Bix enough to make that silly little saying up. So I'd rather eat a U Bix than a Wheat Bix. So if anyone out there hates Wheat Bix, they can just say say to your friends or your family, I'd rather eat a U Bix than a Wheat Bix. People probably wouldn't know because U Bix disappeared a long time ago. Uh, but of course, Konica and Minolta have lineage to. Ubix or some lineage <laughs> or lots of lineage actually but we won't go into that now that's interesting we've lost we've lost the, the brand name altogether that looks quite funny it's quite amusing I'm wondering if we're going to do another one to make a better job of it I think how are we going to make this this is this is oh, actually it's a little bit bigger than an A4 but we're going to do it that way so let's see if we can get our our Ubix, well, it's not actually Ubix, but I just like calling it Ubix for a joke. Let's see how that goes. Let's see if we've made this. Oh, shit. We've we got Woot. We looks like we created a new word. This looks almost like Wootbix. Wootbix. Interesting, but not what I'm after. Not the kind of result that I'm after. So I'm thinking if I want to make a better result, I might just go and reduce it so I can get more of the more of the interesting bits. So we're just going to put it on the glass like so. And we're just going to slip and slide it all the way across. All the way down to the A3 mark. So we're reducing from A4. We're reducing correction from A3 to A4. So hopefully this has come a treat so I can use it as a four-way mirror image now that looks a lot better and we've got <laughs> we got the word and you got the word bix 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 like it's meant to be ubix 
So now we've got wheat bix at the top. I like this result, so I'm going to take it and turn it into a mirror image. I'm just going to throw my wheat bix aside, and we're just going to get rid of these two copies that are not what I want in this. So we're just going to stick with this as our master copy. So that looks interesting. I'm wondering if the green really looks good or if it looks shit. But we're going to use this anyway as our master copy to make it to re reimagine wheat bix on a machine that has Ubix because before Konica Minolta became Konica Minolta, it went like this. Apparently the company was called Ubix, just Ubix, and then after Ubix was taken then Ubix was taken over by Konica. Then it became Konica Ubix. And then after a little while or a fair amount of time they, they dropped the name Ubix and it just became Konica. And then after that, finally, Konica and Minolta merge. And now we have what is now known to this present day as Konica Minolta. So there you go, a bit of history. So there is lineage still to Ubix, to the old Ubix brand. A long, long, long time ago... But it was there. And I remember I did work experience with them back in 1993 in March. Uh, if any of you old Konica workers are still out there somewhere. But basically, yeah, it was a very con different to what we know now as Konica Wheat Bix. Konica Wheat Bix? <laughs> That's a good one. I said Konica Wheat Bix. <laughs> oh, shit. But anyway... Going back to those days, yeah, things were better and the people, strangely enough, in the in the workshop, they were really friendly people, not like the people I've heard about who are bullies, like the bosses. I had two weeks' worth of work experience there and it was really enjoyable and the people, most of the people were friendly. So I don't think, I don't know what it's like now as Konica Minolta, but Konica Ubix was friendly. And they even had a funny sign on the girls toilets which said if you sprinkle when you tinkle take a sheet and wipe the seat so there we have it that's our first quadrant we're going to do it this way we're going to make it into a negative positive the food looks interesting so yeah so if you sprinkle when you tinkle take a sheet and wipe the seat and then of course i used to sing that is what Konica said, that is what Konica said, that is what Konica said, that is what Konica said. So we're going to sing the whole song in one go. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, take a sheet and wipe the seat. That is what Konica said, that is what Konica said, that is what Konica said, that is what Konica said. So yeah, so basically I just made that into a little jingle. Uh, but I don't think Konica, I don't think, uh, which way are we supposed to put these? We're going to do it like this. I'm not concentrating. I'm singing that stupid little ditty that I got off the toilet door, at, which was at the place, which was current, at that, that time known as Konica Ubix. So yeah, Konica Ubix, an interesting piece of history. Now we're going to make two mirror images. So yeah, that was quite funny. So yeah. So just remember that little little song and maybe if you see someone who works for Konica Minolta and they need to go to the toilet, tell sing that little song to them. <laughs> so it came from them. One of the staff female staff members obviously thought it was funny to put that up in the toilet. And also they were obviously getting sick of people peeing all over the seat and not cleaning it up. So yeah, but they sort of added a little bit of a toilet humour way of dealing with it <laughs> instead of getting angry they just thought they'd make up that funny little oh there, there, there is another version of that which sounds different but it's pretty much the same message the other one that I've heard goes like this if you sprinkle when you tinkle be a sweetie and wipe the seaty but I don't like that one as much as if you sprinkle when you tinkle take a sheet and wipe the seat now I didn't notice we had those horrible lines at the bottom there i should have blown this original up but we're going to just keep it like that we don't have time to i, I don't want to use up too much on my k 
card. I'm disappointed I didn't notice those lines. I wasn't concentrating. So these are our mirrors. I wasn't concentrating. I was too busy singing that stupid fucking toilet song. That stupid Konica Ubix made up. Oh, I shouldn't say stupid. They were nice people. And I'm sure the person who made up the song was a really nice person. So hats off to the person who wrote that, who put that to toilet, that sign on the toilet door with that funny little ditty. That was really funny. I really, I'll never forget it. I'll probably remember it for, till the day I die. But anyway, enough about that. I've got to go.